Nice to see you. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Very well, thank you. Very, very excited to be here. Well, we are talking live to the Marvel fans right oh, now. We're live right now? Yeah. What's up, everybody at home? How's everyone doing? I'm very hot. I'm sweating a lot. It is a very hot, hot premiere right now. It is. It is. There's a lot of really cool looking people here today. Including you. That may have been one of the coolest entrances I have ever seen at a premiere. Oh, thank you so much. I was so stressed sitting in the car. Um, but, uh, but you know, here we are and it's happening. So I'm very excited. Well, a lot has happened in the year that we, in the year since we talked since the Civil War premiere, which took place here as well. What has this whole thing traveling around the world been like for you as Spider-Man? It's been a real dream come true, you know. I'm, I'm, I have my best friend and my little brother with me, and, and uh, we've been traveling the world together, having the time of our lives, and it really has been incredible. So one of the things that I love that John Watt said is that Peter Parker is very comfortable and really wants to be Spider-Man. Yes. Not so comfortable being Peter Parker. Yeah. Yeah, you know, well, I think one of the amazing things actually about this movie is you get to see someone who is kind of comfortable in his own skin, you know? Jacob Battle on Ned Leeds is the prime example of that, and it really gives a strong message to people that just love yourself. The strongest version of yourself is yourself, and, uh, and Jacob is the perfect example of that. And speaking of Jacob, you're surrounded by a bunch of amazing actors in this. You did a lot of bonding. Um, what was it like going back to high school for you? Do you know, I loved it. I really had the best time. I thought it was going to be super weird, but I had a really great time. I loved it. I had such amazing cast to work with, and uh, I'm very lucky to be here. And can we talk for a second about some of the stunt work? Um, let's talk for a second about the Staten Island ferry scene. Can you give the fans kind of a, a visceral sense of what it was like shooting that scene? Like, what did it feel like? What did it smell like? What's going on? What's your body doing? Are you harnessed? What's happening? I was harnessed for a lot of that scene. Um, all the stuff where I'm fighting guys was all on harnesses and I was sipping around and flying all over the place. Um, but yeah, it was an amazing scene to shoot. It took us like a month to do, um, but it really is one of the best sequences of the movie and uh, I'm so proud of it. Now, since you're now kind of a Spider-Man expert, yeah. if someone was in trouble on that end of the carpet, what would you flip onto right now? What would be your strategy looking around? I mean, you've got, you know, a theater over. Probably call the police. I would probably ask those fine looking police guys to uh, sort it out. Probably a good idea. Yeah. Saving people in a suit can be difficult. Exactly. I'm not as I'm not actually Spider-Man. It's not real. Are you sure? Or we'll pretend. I, I think I'm as close to it as I could be. But it's not, not the full finished article at all. I know a lot of people who don't necessarily believe you. Something else too. Um, you obviously trained as a dancer, Billy Elliot, Zendaya, also quite the dancer. Um, we've seen a little bit of you guys dancing on some YouTube stuff. Um, if you were going to challenge her for Dancing with the Stars, what is the style you would choose? If I had to challenge Zendaya with Dancing with the Stars, I wouldn't do that because I would lose straight away. There's no way I would win. Um, maybe the cha-cha? I don't really know much about ballroom dancing, but uh, yeah, I guess that one would, would do. Got it. And something else, I heard that you guys played a game where um, you had to kind of sit around to give your first impressions of one another. Yeah. What has been the most, who's been the most surprising cast member you've worked with? Uh, it has to be Zendaya. Because, you know, you look at her on Instagram and she has such a huge presence. And, you know, when people have that kind of presence, they get lost in this crazy world. And to meet someone who's as successful as she is, but as down to earth as she is, is kind of amazing. And speaking of legendary uh, Robert Downey Jr., Michael Keaton, um, who was more, um, more nerve-wracking to work with? I know Robert now. So Robert and I are good friends. Michael was pretty scary. Michael was like the nicest guy, and then as soon as they'd say action, he was terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. So uh, yeah, it was pretty crazy, but two of the nicest guys I've ever worked with, and, and I love them both. He s Michael actually said that you asked a bunch of really wonderful questions about, you know, Michael said you, asked a Michael said you asked a bunch of wonderful questions oh, really? about acting, about sort of life as a superhero. Was there any particular piece of advice that he passed along? I think the best piece of advice that uh, Michael gave me was about my character and I, as an actor, was really adamant about trying to ground Peter's powers in reality and make them realistic and that's exactly what he did for Marissa Tomei has just arrived and um, that's what he did for Batman so I knew I was on the right track when he said that. Well, congratulations, have an amazing so time here tonight. Thank you everyone at home, I love you all, you're the best and I'll see you in theatres soon.